Jesus, my Lord, me Study the word. Study the word. Soma ichigambo. And study your best. Era soma kusinga wu. To present yourself to God. Kusobolope wa eri katonda. Approved as a workman. Nga ukizi duwa ngu mkosi. Tested by trial. Nga and have no reason to be ashamed. Accurately handle and skillfully teach the word of truth. Second Timothy. Second Timothy. Chapter two. Verse 15. Glory to God. The Bible tells us that every time we acquire knowledge, there are tests that come our way. Tests that come to establish that whatever we have learned has to come of realization. Glory to God. The scriptures tell us that the workman workman and the works have to be tested by trial. Glory to God. Amen. They have to be tested. Approved by God. Whatever they say, <laughs> it comes to us men and it arises in us in form of word in form of a word in Mark 4, 16, 17 this is what the Bible says Bible is what the Bible says that certain brands of truth Certain brands of truth and hearers of the word. This is what they say. That they are like witches song on stony ground. When they have heard the word. They immediately receive it with gladness. However, they have no root in themselves to endure for the time. So afterwards, when temptation and persecution come their way, they forsake the word and they immediately get offended. Glory to God. Amen. So there are tests and temptations that will simply come in our lives because of the sermons that we have just had or whatever we have just read in the Bible. Glory to God. So it is not a place for us to start crying and start to wonder that why we are always the devil's target. You're coming from church. You've just read the word. But there and then you get a thought in your mind to do something that is contrary to God's word. Then as you seem to meditate upon it, you begin consoling yourself, but God, why me? That temptation 
should be taken as an opportunity for the one to take root for the word to take root in you and establish yourself. Are you getting me? That time of temptation take it as an opportunity and take it as root for you to establish yourself. Glory to God. The word does not come merely to excite you. The word of God does not necessarily come to excite you. A man or a woman of God stands at the pulpit. He says, or oh, he quotes a scripture in the Bible. And we yes, we take it. We take it in Jesus' name. And then it stops there. That is not the intention of the word. Just to excite you for a moment. No. It comes to approve. To approve you as the true workman. And this approval is made possible by the works that the word is doing in you. Now, that's that you have taken. How have you cultivated it in your life? To show those that indeed the God that you serve is a living one. Or you just had to get the chair. And you run around church. Now we call it the as it has worked for you. What do we do? Does the word just excite us? Eh? Yes, yes. Of you intending to build a tower. First sits down. Counts the cost. And to see whether they have sufficient funds to finish it. Else, okay. after they have finished the foundation, mm. is that the time when they shall establish that they are not able to finish it? And once that is done, they will be mocked. Luke 14, 28. Luke 14, 28. The Bible is telling us to count the cost. Bible to count the To prepare for success. We must first count the cost. The cost of what we wish to succeed at. Glory to God. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. If we don't count the cost, what do you call it? What do you call it? If we do not do the cost, if you don't want to we will be mocked by the very things that we seek to accomplish. Guys, I built a house, but the house has become each house. Huh? Nah, I'm 
I got married to a man. They have not counted the cost. I gave birth to kids, but my kids are big. The things that she really prayed to God. They have come back to mock him. Why? You didn't lay out the cost. When you ask God for children, you decided to get 10 children. They have become a lost to you. And you are here. The environment or the, uh, the people near you have started mocking. It is because you did not do the cost. There is something called family planning. Which my father defines family planning as the ability the ability to take care of your children the ability to plan for your children that is what my father defines as family plan that's the reason he has 10 kids because he's able to take care of them. Now, that one is in a different setting. Now, the other version of family planning is to be able to give birth to the number of children you'll be able to take care of. That will not be a burden to you. And you chase your children, you say you go to the neighbor and you take to the neighbor. If they walk and they don't come back from that, it's your joy. If we do not count the cost, we will be mocked by the very things that we seek to accomplish. Men who do not count the cost, they never rise above the level of a foundation. It can be a business, it can be a career, it can be a ministry. Its cost can never we will never take off unless you have counted. Counting the cost is what enables you to finish what you started. Because it gives you a clear vision where you headed. I'll give you an example. When we were renovating this place, uh, Pastor Marion and uh, Pastor Gift sat down and they did a costing. They knew we have so much but what can fit in this so much? We want lights. But are we going to go for chandeliers? But they do the same thing like these ones. But in our accountability, that certain ceiling, can we do it? This is not the final bit. But in this opportune moment, what can push us? They, they did all that when they are doing the accountability. Thank you very much. But so that they don't reach that time. Then the church may start mocking. Them. 
all the, 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 the environment, all the surrounding. So, so they were showing off now. now they don't even have a ceiling. It is because Pastor Marion and Pastor Gift sat down and counted the cost. Now, when we come back to the scripture, costing is not merely financial, Emotional, emotional or geographical. Counting the cost starts by understanding what someone is getting into. It is ministry. Do you understand the dynamics? Before you start a ministry, there was a church which was there, but they spoke to us and went to Namlanda. But they left Namlanda to go. They left Namlanda to go. They did not understand. They did not count. They did not do the course of what it takes to start a ministry. You have a shop in the area where you are. People are majorly doing construction. But what is in your shop? That whole shop, that wholesale shop of yours. You have sugar. You have rice. You have washroom. You have beans. Every item used in your home. But the area where you're shopping is. People are majorly doing construction. This is your Wabala. This is your Wabala. What did you target? Did you sit down to do the costing and accounting? Wabala and Wabala and Wabala and Wabala and Wabala and Wabala and was your target that these builders eat too much portions? You didn't count, you didn't cost. There is a lady called Catherine Koma. She once said that realization will come and it will cost you everything. So never let impulse and excitement to propel you into into something you have not understood. Glory to God. In Romans 10 too, the Bible calls it the zeal without knowledge. So success belongs to those who know how to count it. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord.